The Dirac Delta function is a very useful tool in modeling, um, in physics, and in applied mathematics. So um, let me introduce the Dirac Delta function. Um, the Dirac Delta function we write as delta of x. It's not actually a function. It's equal to 0 when uh, x is not equal to 0. And it's infinite when x equals 0. Okay? It's a very unusual sort of function. And it has the property that it integrates to 1. So the integral across 0, which we can write as minus infinity to infinity of delta x dx. So the only thing important about these limits here is that it goes from a negative number to a positive number. So it crosses the singularity at 0. And this one is equal to 1. So the delta function has a unit area under the, under the function. Okay, so um, how do you get a delta function? Well, there are uh, several uh, representations of a delta function. Um, I can show you the simplest one, which uh, comes from a step up, step down function. So if we draw um, an axis, so here's uh, x. We can call this axis uh, y. Then um, a simple implementation of the delta function is uh, if this is the origin 0, we can have a function which is uh, 0 everywhere except for th some region around the origin. We can make it symmetrical. And then uh, for that region around the origin, it steps up. And then uh, takes on some value, large value. And then uh, steps down. Okay? So this is a approximation to the delta function where this can be. Um, the value minus epsilon. This can be the value plus epsilon. Epsilon is going to be considered small. So that the width of this rectangle is 2 epsilon. And in order for the area of this rectangle to be 1, the height here has to be 1 over 2 epsilon. Right? So width times height is equal to 1. Okay, So this um, representation, this function here, is uh, y equals delta of x, but it's a representation for finite epsilon, for uh, non-zero epsilon. So y equals delta sub epsilon of x. Okay, and if we want to write formally what delta sub epsilon of x is, it's a step up, step down function. So it's a uh, step function at um, steps up at minus epsilon, and then steps down at plus epsilon. Okay, so that's a formal representation of the delta function. Uh, not quite the delta function, but an approximation to the delta function using two step functions. And then the delta function is the limit as epsilon goes to zero of delta epsilon of x. Okay? So, um, if you have a hard time picturing the, the delta function itself, you can view the felt delta function as this limiting function. Um, so epsilon is as small as you like. Uh, so it will have a width of uh, 2 epsilon. 
and a height of uh, 1 over 2 epsilon. Okay. So what is the property of the uh, delta function that is most useful? So if we integrate over a delta function, so we integrate over a delta function times another function, so we'll call uh, integrate over a function f of x times a delta function, and instead of placing the delta function at x equals 0, we can place the delta function at x equals c and integrate dx. We can integrate across the singularity of the delta function. Then what can we do this integral, right? So this integral turns out to be remarkably easy to do. Um, the delta function is 0 unless its argument is 0. So the delta function is 0 unless x minus c equals 0. That means the delta function is 0 unless x is equal to c. So it doesn't matter what the value of f is except where x is equal to c because it gets multiplied by 0. So we can replace this integral by the integral from minus infinity to infinity f of c times delta of x minus c dx. Because it uh, doesn't matter what the value of f is when x is not equal to c because the delta function gives you 0. So then we can of course factor out the f of c because it's now independent of x and then we just have an integral over a delta function centered at x equals c and the integral over a delta function is 1 because the area under the rectangle is always 1 independent of epsilon so this gives us f of c so when you take a delta function when you take a function, you multiply by a delta function and integrate, it just picks out the value of the function at the singularity. So this is the most um, important uh, relationship uh, of a delta function, and it's one that is uh, very useful and finds wide application.